everybody, how's it going? My name is Andrew Woods and I'm a third year veterinary student who wants to help you achieve all your goals. And if that includes getting into veterinary school, well, you've come to the right place. So with this series, I hope to give you a general understanding of what the application process is, where to start when it comes to applying, what college you should go to if you're just coming fresh out of high school and want to get into veterinary medicine, and how to get the most out of your time in undergrad, and all the teeny tiny details along the way. Because personally, I know how hard it can be. I know how challenged it can be just coming fresh out of high school, not knowing what to do, what college to go to, where to apply, what the application process is like. It can all be super overwhelming at first, but with this series, I hope to give you a general knowledge of where to start when it comes to applying. To vet school. And I hope to break it down in an easy, digestible way for all you guys. Beat that advisors. But, but, if you come into this expecting me to give you some secret piece of knowledge or hidden secret that you don't know about getting into vet school, you might be expecting just a little bit too much because I don't know everything. I'm not the head of admissions. I don't know the nitty gritty information about every single vet school's application process. But what I do know is how to get you started and how to answer any single question you have along the way or any concerns that you do have about getting into vet school. So, the first question you should ask yourself is, do you really want to get into the veterinary medical profession? I can't answer that. Your teachers can't answer that. Your brothers, your sisters, your parents, your advisors, they can't answer that for you. Only you can answer that for yourself. And you need to ask yourself that question because this is your profession we're talking about here. And only you can decide what you want to do in your life ultimately at the end of the day. And there are many other great professions besides veterinary medicine. Even if you've loved animals your entire single life and can't imagine doing a single other thing, there are different careers that involve working with animals, like wildlife conservationists, scientists, animal handlers, animal control. There are lots of other fields besides veterinary medicine that involve working directly with animals. Maybe you're just super into medicine. Have you checked out how much medical doctors make? Hint, hint, it's a lot more than us. Contrary to many public opinions, veterinarians are in it for the money. We're not trying to gouge your wallets. We really do it because we have a deep love, care, and compassion and understanding for the animals we treat and their owners. But don't be fooled. If you think you're getting into the veterinary profession because you want to work with animals all day and not be involved with any other people, <laughs> you're wrong. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> um, because every single horse, cow, cat, dog, fish, chicken, every single animal that walks in your clinic is going to be attached to some leash or cage and that leash or cage is going to be attached to a human being that's going to want to talk and conversate with you. <laughs> and while true there are some jobs in the veterinary profession that don't require you to directly be interacting with another person, for the most part human to human interaction is a major part of our veterinary industry and it's not something you're going to be able to get around. And hey, maybe you're not even sure if you want to get into the veterinary profession. That's fine. The best advice I can give for you is to get experience, get experience, get experience. And get the knowledge about what a veterinary profession is actually like. So ask to shadow your local veterinarian in their clinic. Shadow as many veterinarians as you can. Get as much opinions and advice about what a profession is actually like and what you're going to be doing in it. Because honestly, there are tons and tons of different types of veterinarians you can be. It's not just all small animal dogs and cats. You can work with large animals, cows, horses, out in the countryside. You work in academia at major vet colleges. You can work with USDA and work on foreign animal disease cases. There's so many different types of veterinarians you can be. And our career is very wide in the amount of diversification of different veterinarians you can actually be. So, if you love animals and want nothing more to care and treat for them and help their owners care and treat for them, if you want to put on that fancy white coat at the beginning of vet school orientation. It's actually pretty nice. If you want nothing more than to be a veterinarian, please make sure you keep peeled to my channel. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode because every week I'm going to be posting a new episode on how to help you get into the veterinary school of your dreams. And in my next episode, I'm going to be going over exactly where to start when it comes to applying for veterinary school. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye! Also, if you're a diehard fan watching this at the end of the video, please write in the comments topics and ideas you want for this series. What you want to know about getting into vet school, what I can help you with. So leave them down below. Thanks guys.